Hello, welcome to Randy Rides. Today we're going to unbox and install the Brooks Saddle B17 Standard Version. This is the black leather version, but they also have other colors available as well. The install is pretty straightforward, and we'll tackle that in the next section. So we're going to install this on the Brompton. It's going to look really sweet. Brompton. I'm out on the Grants Trail today just riding, doing a 10 mile ride just to get warmed up on this thing. I'm used to doing like 30 plus miles on my electric bikes. Yeah, this one isn't electric, so I know it's a little bit different than what you guys are used to. But I do have another electric bike unboxing and review coming very soon. It is the Magicycle Cruiser, which I've posted a picture of the box on my community tab and in my Facebook group so if you're not a member of that make sure you check it out I'll leave a link in the description but we added a couple things so I just wanted to go over that real quick this is the miracle mirror bar in mirror it easily moves around if you need to adjust it um, when I fold the bike I turn this inwards I don't want to drop my phone but yeah that's a really nice high quality metal hardware mirror but yeah that's a miracle mirror probably one of the best mirrors I've used um, it was recommended by everyday cycling who has a Brompton and uh, I'm glad he mentioned it because it's really nice I did add some new grips on here these are the locking grips off the hay bike they're ergonomic I think they look really good with the with the Brompton the rubber grips with the ergo palm rest here. I did mount my headlight here. Um, it's inside the bag, but it's the same headlight I use for everything. Sagal Light Metro Pro. I think it's a thousand lumens. It works really good, but it's not night out, so I don't have it hooked up. Then I got my GPS computer by Exos. It doesn't work right now. I gotta probably connect to it with my phone and get it configured again it's been a long time since I've used it I am gonna either 3d print or buy something that goes across here so I can mount my phone and my GPS computer on it or my headlight in my phone or you know whatever I decide to do I can change them out but it's just a bar that goes across um, there is a 3d model for that on Thingiverse so I'm gonna try to print that out and I gotta fix my printer, it's it's clogged. Then I got my cheap little Amazon lights. Um, I have two of these, a white one and a red one for the back. I have a different light on the back right now, uh, which is a little better. I'll show you that in just a second. And then I got my water bottle holder, which you guys have seen before. But it uh, it's convenient and Velcro's and you can pretty much put it on any bike. And then I got my rear light back here. I forgot the name of it, but um, it's pretty popular on Amazon, and it's really good. But it flashes red and blue, or just red or just blue. It's got a bunch of different modes, and uh, it's USB rechargeable. So I'll leave a link in the description for this one. Last but not least, the Brooks Saddle. This is a B17 standard black leather version. 
as you can see well as you already saw in the beginning of the video it's got the insignia back here the Brooks logo and uh, got these little buttons everywhere that are like chrome color and it's just really nice it's gonna go well with everything I'm gonna do with this bike once I get all my other accessories in and purchased um, I will do a full review of everything I got but this is what I got right now it's still fairly new I am looking at getting a headlight to mount up here to the front and make a few gonna change the springs out to make them a little bit easier to unscrew and tighten they make new seat clamps they make all kinds of stuff for this bike and I do have a rear rack coming and the Brompton front carrier mount that goes up here but that's it hope you guys like this it's it's a really fun bike I, I love it I love the portability and uh, I just think it's really cool and now on to the ride footage all right, we're out on the Brompton again. This time testing out the Brooks saddle, which seems pretty comfortable right off the bat. But you guys just saw the install and uh, pretty simple. It basically just goes in the same spot as your stock saddle. On your left. And I'm on the Grants Trail, which goes by Grants Farm in St. Louis. And that's where the Budweiser Clydesdales, some of them are housed. I, I guess housed is the right word, I don't really know. And they also have other horses and stuff like that. But they're, they're out there grazing. And I've been out here a few times with my electric bikes. And I have rode the Brumpton, uh, I think two times without the camera, just so I could get it dialed in for what I want without having to, to talk about it. I did add a new mirror. It's really nice. It's a miracle. It's the name of it. I'll put a link in the description. And I added some locking grips that I got off one of my other bikes. And I'm still, Still trying to feel those out. I don't know if I if I like them or not, but we'll see. I do have another set of grips that I, I may try. Looks like Grant's Farm's open today though. They got people going in. That's a pretty neat place. They have different animals and stuff throughout. Looks like it rained a lot. Oh, it did rain a lot yesterday. There's tornado warnings and I think tornado spottings even throughout St. Louis. And it rained really hard for a pretty long time. So that's why you're seeing all the rainwater over there in the ditch and stuff. Now in my last video, at the beginning of my ride, I was breathing super heavy. And I might do the same thing today, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm just getting used to the bike. Hey, puppy dog. But this is a really nice trail. Uh, it's about... 6 15 p.m. in the evening it was in the 90s today so I didn't want to ride earlier but yeah I got the brook saddle installed and this is my very first ride on it. I didn't get the ride yesterday because it rained so bad. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. I only had one day opportunity to come out here and 
and test it out at least for the immediate future so far not too bad i know it takes a while to get it broken i'm wearing cargo shorts so i don't even have gym shorts on right now i forgot to change that's all right and and my bike computer is not working so i gotta see what's up with that later now i did finally find a bag that i wanted it was pretty inexpensive for what it is i think it's a 20 liter maybe maybe a little bit more than that so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff i wanted a big bag for groceries now i will probably buy a small bag to go on the front um, but i'm still waiting for my front carrier block which is the block that you can use brompton bags for and uh also waiting for my rack those both should be here on monday my tires i have no idea where they're at they're literally coming from st louis where i live and it's been six days now since i've ordered it almost a week i bought the brook saddle specifically because everybody said how comfortable they are after you wear them in it does take right around 100 miles to get it broken in so probably like 10 10 plus rides and then i'll i'll let you know what i think about it right now it's not as comfortable as the stock saddle but the stock saddle is not going to get any more comfortable and it's not not super comfortable but right off the bat this isn't too bad i think i can work with it i will let you know after my ride now it does have these little metal buttons on the back which i can definitely feel Try to kick it in gear here. Three point two miles so far. Probably do five out and five back. And like I said, last video, I was breathing really hard at the beginning. A, because I was going up a really steep hill. And I didn't stop to catch my breath. And B, it was my first day on a regular bike. So I just got to get used to it. And I wore the wrong shorts for biking. It doesn't help very much. I need to get some padded shorts just for the extra uh, comfort. We got a branch over the trail up here. And I did finally get my Magicycle electric bike in the mail. If you guys haven't seen that one yet but you may have seen the pictures i will be uh recording an unboxing you know, hopefully someday it just depends on how muddy it is because where i unbox my bike it's in the yard and it does get pretty soggy i do feel like i can do more miles on this saddle than i can the stock one we'll see where five miles is from where I started, which I don't know how they do the mileage on this trail. But I would think my watch is fairly accurate since it does use GPS. There we go. Five miles. Quick drink. Now, when I go out on my electric bikes on this trail, 
I got super far. So probably like three or four times the distance that we did today. So it really feels like It really feels like uh, I didn't go very far, but we're gonna be doing 10 today. And I'm taking it pretty easy. But for five miles, we've only been out for 30 minutes, so not too bad. And I'm not pushing it or anything yet. I am taking my time, working my stamina up. But like I said in my last video, this bike is not for speed. It is for exercise and getting around town and commuting. So the Magicycle Cruiser is comparable to the Aerial Rider Kepler more than any other 26 by four inch fat tire bikes. Though the Kepler is probably a little bit more better in terms of speed and battery distance things like that but it is a good comparison and I forgot my tire patch kit or I would have stopped and helped those guys yeah so one of the things that I'm gonna be doing or adding to this bike is a 3d printed tool holder I'll be putting some tire patches in my kit and uh, various other small items that I can carry with me. Really, I just need tire patch, a tire patch kit and tools to take my wheels off if I needed the repair. I have all that stuff in my main tool bag, but currently I don't have anywhere to store it. Now I can fit a lot of that stuff in my little uh, pouch that I got with me, my little uh, sling bag, my moment sling bag, it's pretty sweet, but uh, I don't know why, I just forgot to put that in there too, and an air pump, but this bike has an air pump attached to it, so I don't really need that. But riding the bike, gotten shifting down pat yeah the past couple days that I didn't record I got the shifting down really well so I can shift one two three four five six without any problems and if you didn't watch my last video shifting on a Brompton is a lot different than a normal bike because you have your high and low gear over here and then you have a one two three gear over here so it is basically a six speed your minus are the odd numbers the plus are the positive numbers three miles to go not bad Forty minutes out so far. So future plans. Like I said, I'm gonna 3D print a tool kit that will hold some smaller tools inside the frame. I'm gonna 3D print some little easy spring things that go on these springs so it always holds that metal bracket out. Right now you kind of just have to pull it outward when you're unfolding it. With those it compresses and contracts so it'll hold the uh, little metal piece out for you. I tried to print some off but I need to clean my printer. It's clogged. I've been using it a ton. I did take a little break from 3D printing. I did sell out of almost all of my thumb throttles. So I need to get those back in stock. I uh, know there's several people waiting for those. But thumb throttles for your electric bike. Those are printed. 
and all different colors. So on my website, you can purchase, you know, any color you want when they're in stock. But the most popular colors like black, I think white, teal, blue, um, maybe silver, they're all sold out. So I really got to work on really got to work on uh, replenishing my stock. I have a little thing built into my store where if something's sold out, people can submit their email address. And then that notifies me that people are interested in that color when they're sold out. So I don't really it motivates me to print more, <laughs> which I have been staying on top of it. I just have been working hard on the bike stuff too. So unfortunately, there's not enough time in the day for me to, to do everything. <laughs> So I kind of got to spread stuff out. That's all. Just like anything. But we're getting pretty close to the car. Yeah, it's really pretty over here. I wonder if... Yeah, I bet it's really pretty at night too. I should come back here one day in the evening and uh, record this because I bet these street lights right here are all lit up. Yeah, this is a really popular bike trail, walking trail, rollerblading trail, the whole nine yards in St. Louis. Probably one of the most popular ones. So if you're ever in the St. Louis area, come check out Grant's Farm, it's pretty neat. Preferably come on a day when they have the Clydesdales there. I don't think they're always there, but they do have them sometimes. 8.8 miles, a little more than a mile to the car. Oh, I saw those people last year. I'm in the night to realize I'm in the